When it comes to mergers and acquisitions, there's a lot of terms that can make your head spin. I'm Michael Brandwine, a senior attorney at the Gordon Law Group, and I'm here to break it down for you. Before we go any further, I want you to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and go ahead and leave a comment for any terms that have to deal with mergers and acquisitions you want us to cover. Our firm has a ton of other MA videos, and quite frankly, I'm being held hostage until you check out each and every one. So go ahead and watch them so that I can go outside and take a shower. When it comes to mergers and acquisitions, here are eight terms that you've probably heard, but you need to know. EBITDA, E-B-I-T-D-A, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. So EBITDA, where would you actually hear this? It's very, very common in an M&A transaction that has an earnout. A lot of times the earnout is based on EBITDA. That is, someone has to hit certain metrics based on EBITDA before they get a partial earnout or a full earnout. Stock sit. It is the sale of equity in your company, not assets in a company. So essentially, you are selling the stock, what you own the entire company. Asset sale. Unlike a stock sale, you're not selling the whole company, you're selling one asset or perhaps many assets of the company, but you still own the company. Hostile takeover. You have a company, ABC Company. Bob wants to buy it. The board of directors of ABC Company says, no way. So Bob goes to Jim, the majority shareholder of the company and says, forget the board of directors, sell it to me. Hostile takeover. Subsidiary. A company creates a child company, a subsidiary as part of a mergers and acquisition deal. Boot. Boot is essentially cash that makes the deal equal. So if someone is giving you stock for your company, but you say, it's not enough, I need some cash, you're getting stock and boot. Bootstrapping effect. Essentially, when a merger leads to a company having a financial windfall, simply because of the merger and its existence, not because of some sort of economic reason behind it. No shop clause. You'll see it in an LOI, you'll see it in other m and deal documents. You, as the buyer, want to prevent the seller from shopping it around while this deal is going on. You don't want to waste your time and money, so you have a no shop clause or no shop provision. It protects the buyer and makes sure that the seller can't go around your back, sell the company to somebody else. Hey, here are a few extra terms that are some of my personal favorites. A black knight. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, not if you're the buyer. A black knight is an unwanted takeover bidder who's trying to push you out of your deal. Black knight. So how about a godfather offer? I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. It's an offer that's so good, the seller cannot refuse it. Either your offer, or unfortunately, maybe somebody else's offer, like a black knight. Remember the game Pac-Man? Of course you do. How about a Pac-Man defense? Well, a Pac-Man defense is essentially when a company, the target is about to be taken over, usually quite hostily, but they flip this switch and then turn it around on the other company. It's a Pac-Man defense, baby. Poison pill. Your company's about to be taken over. How do you prevent it from being taken over? Poison pill. Do something that makes it so that the buyer is no longer interested. Poison pill, baby. At Gordon Law Group, I call myself Michael Branwine, the showstopper. But in an M&A deal, a showstopper is a target company starting litigation to scare off and acquire in a hostile takeover. Showstopper. Okay guys, here's the deal. I'm Michael Branwine. I'm a senior attorney here at the Gordon Law Group. You have to like and subscribe, leave a comment, go to our website, gordonlawltd.com. If you do that, they will let me leave here and I can go on living my life. If not, I'm stuck here forever and you have to watch me and 800,000 other videos I have. So please like and subscribe, leave a comment. I love your comments. Check out our website, gordonlawltd.com. Until next time, party on.